Epcot's final construction walls are down, revealing a rejuvenated park filled with memorable experiences from the global festivities inside World Showcase, the interstellar twist of Cosmic Rewind, to the ultimate thrill of watching cucumbers grow. Hi, I'm the Frugal Brit, and in this video I'll be taking you on a tour of all rides and attractions that Epcot 2024 has to offer. Without further ado, let's dive in. Epcot's iconic fountain and G.O.D. Six Sphere at the entrance welcome guests to World Celebration, one of four distinct neighbourhoods you'll find in Epcot these days. Our first attraction is the Spaceship Earth Educational Dark Ride located inside the Sphere, where guests are whisked away on a slow-moving ride that traces the evolution of human communication from the dawn of prehistoric times to the digital age of today, showcasing pivotal moments in history before allowing riders to create their own tomorrow through interactive screens. The ride culminates in the Project Tomorrow interactive area, where guests can engage with exhibits and games that explore the possibilities of future technology. After many years of construction, visitors can now return to the centre of this neighbourhood, greeted by the World Celebration Gardens, highlighted by the iconic five-ringed Epcot logo and anchored by the new Walt the Dreamer statue. To the south of World Celebration, you have the Imagination Pavilion, a tribute to the creative process, and its main attraction is the journey into imagination with Figment, a fantasy adventure dark ride which takes you through a series of sensory labs with a number of optical illusions and engaging brain teasers, frequently interrupted by the playful purple dragon. When exiting, you'll step into the Image Works, the What If Labs, an interactive play area which fairly recently added a new Figment meet and greet. After finishing the interactive fun, around the back of the pavilion there's the Disney and Pixar short film festival where guests can enjoy a trio of heartwarming animated shorts. To the east of the park is the World Nature Neighbourhood, a tribute to the harmony between humanity and the natural world, which is epitomised inside the Land Pavilion, a bustling atrium crowned by a bright airy canopy. At the heart of the pavilion is the Living with the Land Indoor Boat Ride, where guests collide through various ecosystems, including rainforests and deserts, gaining insight into agricultural advances and sustainable practices, combining education and relaxation. The headliner for the Land Pavilion is the Soarin' Around the World Flight Simulator Ride. After entering the main theatre, you'll be secured in a seat similar to an inverted roller coaster before being taken on an exhilarating flight simulation ride that sweeps you on a breathtaking aerial journey above some of the most iconic landscapes across the globe, complete with wind effects and scents that correspond with the scenery. Concluding our Land Pavilion visit is the awesome Planet Indoor film, which showcases the Earth's beauty and diversity through impressive cinematography, but not the most exhilarating, definitely skippable for time-constrained itineraries. For a deep dive into the underwater world, there's the Seas with Nemo and Friends Pavilion, which houses a Finding Nemo and Dory themed dark ride that takes riders in clamobiles through a Cliff Notes version of the movie, with the characters playfully guiding you through the ocean's wonders. Beyond the ride, the pavilion expands into a massive marine sanctuary that houses over 2,000 sea creatures in a giant aquarium containing clownfish, dolphins, sharks and rays. For an interactive experience, you have the Turtle Talk with Crush, which offers a real-time animated conversation with the surfer dude Sea Turtle from Finding Nemo with incredible digital projection. A few steps away from the Seas Pavilion is the new Journey of Water walkthrough attraction that opened its paths to the public in October 2023. This interactive exhibit is set amidst a lush garden, enriched with symbols and characters from Moana, dotted with engaging water features, serving primarily as a playful yet profound exploration of water's role on our planet. Next up is Epcot's world-famous World Showcase, the neighbourhood that is most associated with Epcot. It does contain a few rides and attractions, but its main purpose is to celebrate global culture and cuisine. Starting on the east side, our first stop is Canada, where the rugged charm of the Great White North comes alive. You can stroll through the Victoria Gardens before indulging in the hearty cuisine at La Cellier Steakhouse. Here, the Canada Far and Wide Circle Vision 360 film gives you a panoramic glimpse of Canada's stunning landscapes and vibrant cities. Crossing into the United Kingdom, Kingdom, you're transported to an idyllic village where cobblestone streets and classic architecture invite you to explore a world of British culture. From quaint shops to the Rose and Crown pub, experience a delightful blend of old world charm and modern British flair. Next, France beckons with its romantic streets and Eiffel Tower replica and combines the charm of Paris with the allure of French cuisine. First up is the Impressions de France film show, a panoramic journey showcasing France's landscapes and culture highlighting its picturesque regions and historical landmarks. You also have the Beauty and the Beast sing-along, a slightly underwhelming interactive show in the same theatre, which reinterprets the classic Disney tale, encouraging audience participation with the beloved songs. Next, we have Remy's Ratatouille Adventure Trackless Dark Ride, one of the park's newest attractions. 
Guests are shrunk down to the size of a rat for a fast-paced retelling of the Ratatouille movie through Gusto's Restaurant, a 4D experience combining special effect, playful animation and whimsical scenery. Onward to the Morocco Pavilion, featuring the intricate architecture and vibrant markets of a Moroccan city. Visitors can explore a series of winding alleyways filled with shops, selling traditional crafts and enjoy the tantalising aromas wafting from the Spice Road Table restaurant, my personal favourite in the park. The Japan Pavilion immerses visitors in a serene landscape, welcomed by its iconic Tori Gate, inspired by traditional Japanese gardens, complete with tranquil koi ponds. From its quick service kiosks to its sit-down restaurants, there's several authentic dining options to choose from. And inside the Mitsukoshi department store, you can browse an extensive selection of Japanese merchandise. At the center of the showcase is the American Adventure, embodying the spirit of the United States. Its main attraction of the same name is housed inside a stately colonial style building where guests are treated to a stirring audio animatronic journey through the United States rich history narrated by Benjamin Franklin and Mark Twain, one of Disney World's best shows. Italy is our next stop, where the ambience of Venice, Florence and Rome is masterfully recreated. You can stroll through its St. Mark's Square Plaza and be captivated by streetmosphere performers and admire the intricate detail and replicas of famous Italian landmarks. Germany greets us next with its charming, storybook-like representation of a traditional German village, complete with cobblestone streets and timber-framed houses. You have the Beer Garten restaurant that captures the essence of a Bavarian beer hall, offering a traditional German feast and rousing umper music. China's pavilion is a tribute to its ancient culture, with the Temple of Heaven replica and serene gardens. Inside the temple is a 360-degree cinema presentation known as Reflections of China, which showcases the country's natural and historical landmarks. Next, we have the Norway pavilion, inspired by the nation's traditional villages and Viking heritage. It contains one of the park's most popular attractions, the Frozen Ever After Indoor Boat Ride, which immerses visitors in the enchanting world of the Frozen movies on a magical journey through Arendelle. Along the way, you'll encounter your favourite characters from the movies, all brought to life with impressive animatronics and features the iconic songs, creating a memorable sing-along experience. Lastly, at Royal Summer House, you also have a meet-and-greet opportunity with Anna and Elsa. Finally, Mexico closes the world tour with a vibrant celebration of Mexican culture, art and history. As you enter the Mesoamerican Pyramid, you're greeted by a bustling marketplace offering authentic craft and merchandise. Inside is the scenic boat ride known as Gran Fiesta Tour starring the three caballeros, which takes guests on a whimsical journey alongside Panchito, Jose Carioca and Donald Duck as they embark on an adventure through Mexico featuring a blend of live action footage and animation, offering a colorful glimpse into Mexican culture. Our final neighborhood to tour is World Discovery, which combines science, technology, and intergalactic exploration. We'll start with the test track simulator ride. Entering the pavilion, guests pass a display of sleek, futuristic concept cars, later heading into the Chevrolet Design Center to create their own concept car using a large touchscreen interface. Riders board six-seater ride vehicles for various automotive testing scenarios, including sharp turns, brake tests, and environmental simulations, culminating in an exhilarating outdoor speed trial, reaching speeds of 65 miles per hour. Recently, it was announced that Test Track will undergo a big reimagining inspired by the original World of Motion attraction and aims to infuse the ride with new technology and a refreshed look. Next up, we have the Mission Space Flight Simulator ride that simulates an apparently realistic journey beyond the confines of Earth. It offers two distinct experiences, a more intense orange mission for a journey to Mars, simulating actual G-forces of space travel, or the milder green mission with a more gentle experience orbiting Earth without any spinning. I strongly suggest anyone suffering from mild motion sickness to skip the orange mission. Next door is the Space 220 restaurant, which offers a celestial dining experience, providing a window to the stars as you dine. Our journey around World Discovery and Epcot culminates at the Wonders of Xandar Pavilion for the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind ride. The experience begins with an immersive queue winding through the Galaxarium and digital galleries where guests are invited to learn more about the Xandarian people and their advanced technologies. You're then briefed on a mission by the Nova Corps, setting the stage for the cosmic journey. Riders board special Omnicoaster vehicles guided by the Guardians embarking on a gag-filled joy ride. Featuring a reverse launch at 60 miles per hour in a few seconds, the rest of the ride is set to one of six randomly chosen hits from the 70s and 80s, synchronized with movements of the ride vehicles as they dance around simulated stars and planets. 
Next, we'll head back to the lagoon for the final attraction, the brand new Luminous The Symphony of Us nighttime fireworks show, which captivates with its powerful mix of music, fireworks and lights, drawing inspiration from the human journey, expressing life stages with an original composition and evocative selections from the Disney songbook. I'll leave some details on the best viewing locations in the video description. That concludes my tour, thank you for watching. If you plan on visiting Epcot during one of its popular festivals, I'll provide some useful links in the video description. If you want to continue touring through all Walt Disney World attractions, I recommend these videos next.